Hey Sky Science fam! Welcome to Maths with Sky. Today we're going to be factoring quadratic equations. Here with me I have the equation x squared plus 5x plus 6. This equation follows the formula ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So the first thing we have to do is make this equation equal to 0. Now, I'm going to do the method which I like to call the x method, which is where we draw an x, as shown here, and in the top, we multiply a times c, and at the bottom, we have b. So, let me show an example. I know I said x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0, but what's the 1 doing here? Well, whenever you have a variable, there's always an invisible number. If there's no written number, there's always going to be a 1. So, that will be our a. 5 is b, and 6 is c. So now let's follow the formula. 1 times 6, or a times c, is equal to 6. So we'll put that on the top. Then, b is 5, so we're going to put that on the bottom. Now we need two numbers, where when we multiply it, it'll give us 6, but when we add it, it gives us 5. Hmm, what could that be? Oh wait, 3 and 2. 3 times 2 gives you 6, and 3 plus 2 gives you 5. So um, it doesn't matter what side you put it on, but we're going to do it like this. Now, since we have these two numbers, we're going to put them in parentheses. So we're going to draw parentheses, and we're trying to find out x. So we have two x's here. So what this is going to be is x plus 3, closing parentheses. This is our first scenario. Then we're going to be drawing another parentheses x plus 2. So now that we have this parentheses, what this basically does is we're factoring the expression. So when we multiply this, we should get x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now we need our equals to 0, since we haven't removed that from the equation. So, just to double check our work, x times x is x squared, x times 2x is 2x, and 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. 2x plus 3x gives us 5x. So that will be our equation. Now, we're back to this. So, when we have this, it's still equal to 0. But we want to find out what our two possible values of x would be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make these each two different equations. We have x plus 3 is equal to 0, so that's what we're going to write here, and x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now this doesn't tell us what x is equal to yet. For our first equation, we're going to bring this to the other side of the equal sign using inverse operation, which means we subtract 3 from this side and subtract 3 from this side. We minus 3 here, and we minus 3 here. This gives us x is equal to negative 3, because this cancels out. So we still have 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. We do the same thing here. We subtract 2 from here, and we subtract 2 from here, which gives us x is equal to negative 2, because this cancels out. So we have 0 minus 2, which gives us negative 2. So our two possible x values would be x is equal to negative 3 or negative 2. And that is how you factor quadratic equations. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you learned something. Bye!